Hello world. Uh, yeah, it's your boy Hubby F. You know, uh, part two. Cause uh, I had to give you a part two. Um, you can hear that music. Uh, I would just like to say, you know, everybody prepare yourself for what's to come. You know, um, don't be blinded about it. You see what's happening around the world. You know, all these earthquakes and stuff. So just prepare yourself. Me, I've been preparing myself. Um, having my conversations with God, talking to God, trying to better myself, focus on me. And that's what you need to go to, you know, go to God, um, stop coming to me for your problems. I mean, I love, I mean, not saying it like that, I'm just saying, if you if you want me to be your problem, you did. I'm, I'm done with that shit, I'm not doing that shit no more, you did. Just, just go, take it, take it to, don't blame me, blame God for the reason you, the way you is, you know. Pray about it, and hopefully you will help you and bless you. And uh, I forgive all of you. I forgive you, and I'm back to being happy guys. You know, no more hatred, no more whatever. I can. I'm just back being me. I'm focusing on me now, happy F, You know, um, shout out to shout out to uh, hips on deck mag. We doing big things. You know. Um, shout out to all the models and shout out to um, everybody with their feedbacks and stuff. We appreciate it and we understand how you guys, you know, y'all expect certain criteria from us. So uh, we apologize for slacking off. We've been slacking off a couple, like a month or two. So I, we apologize for that. So we back on the track with it and um, we're just gonna get things going. So um, and what I got coming is you know mixtape. Coming out in the summer, working out with Big Eye. Shout out Big Eye. Um, and then we got the TV show coming out at some. I ain't gonna tell you the network, but uh, me and Big P got this nice TV show coming out. Uh, shout out to uh, Young Shep, you did my brother. Shout out to my brother Robert Herb. Shout out to my little sister Rob Kid and my little nephew and my niece. You see them on here on Facebook going at it. Uh, my little niece was going hard. She a beast. She was beating them both up, but then I guess she got tired, and then they just jumped their ass over after that, but whatever. Um, this is all fun and games, you know. We weren't teaching them to beat on a girl or none of that stuff. It's all fun and games. You know how family are, you know. We play around and stuff. So, um, what else I want to talk about? Um, man, I had a lot on my mind, but, um, females just, um, they're just confusing, you know, they confuse me, I mean, it put me to a stage where I gotta step back and be like, okay, what do I want out of this situation, hold on, let me fix my thing, there you go, what do I want out of this situation, you know, cause it's, it's hard sometimes, you know, you, you say you want one thing, but then you need reinsurance, and it's just, it just messes with niggas' minds, and, um, I'm, I'm speaking for, Myself and for other fellow, fellow fellows, you know we we interested in you, but then you know we play the game where you gotta see if we really are interested in you. You say a little slick stuff, and then you gotta you know we gotta reassure that we gotta reassure you. That shit scares niggas away. I'm just gonna let you ladies know right now. You doing that scare niggas away, um, and then you wonder why a nigga fell back from that because he's like. Okay, why is she doing this? You know, I'm being nice to her. You know, I'm, I'm being silent a hundred with her. And then now it's like she's, you know, questioning that because she ain't used to that. That scares niggas away. That put niggas back in their, you know. Cause you, just because you used to niggas being dogs, you used to dealing with dog-ass niggas, maybe it's you. You feel me? Maybe it's your persona and, like, how you want people to dog you. And... You know, you're just not used to a nice man, you feel me? So you expect him to, to dog you or whatever, and then once he dog you, all niggas ain't shit. That's how it starts off. But, um, you know, I'm just praying for everybody out there, you know, because we just going through a lot. I mean, I thought I was the only one struggling, but I see I ain't. And um, I'm glad that I have Twitter because it helps me release my, my stress, you know. I put most of my stuff on there. Sometimes the stuff that be in my head, I just put it on there. And uh, whenever I'm going through something, I put it on there. And people, you know, they're really helpful on there. You know, they help me see that some stuff really ain't that serious. Some stuff is serious. Some stuff I need to just deal with myself, you know. And um, that's why I'm thankful for Twitter. So whoever invented Twitter, 
big ups to you. Shout out to you. And um, I'm just glad I'm able to, you know, express my feelings and people to relate with. Me, you know, it feels good. It's it's like counseling, pretty much to me. I think it's like counseling. And, um, also, Twitter made me a nosy ass nigga. I, I have to say that. I ain't never been a nosy type, but now a nigga kind of nosy because of Twitter. I want to know what everybody doing, where you going, this and that, like whatever. But um, if you try to find me on Twitter, at HubbyF, try to find me on, well, you're watching my page, so you know how to get me on Facebook. I'm on MySpace, but I'm never really on that. I'm, I don't even think the last one was. I don't know the last time I checked that. But uh, Hips on Deck Mag, hit us up. That's our Twitter. That's our MySpace. That's our email. Hips on Deck Mag at Yahoo.com. If you're a model, holla at us. If you ain't a model, then you wasting our time and your time. So um, holla at us. We have standards because we've been getting. <laughs> well, I don't know if my nigga Andreas or Teddy B been getting hit with them, but I've been getting hit with a lot of people saying, "Why is this female in there? Why is that female in there? Look what she look like. Look what that look like. Y'all falling off." So we stepping it up, and uh, we going for straight. Dimes now, man. That's how we got to do it. That's what, that's what th that's what they want to see. That's what the ladies want to see, and they're very competitive out there too. So, uh, come with your best, you know, ten, you know. And like I said, if you ain't a ten, borrow a five from your your friend, and then bring a ten, then we can work with you. You holla, yeah, holla, yeah, holla. So, um, I holla at me, you know, it's hubby F at your neck, and um, God bless all you guys. You know, I'm praying for everybody. You know, we're going to pull through this, you know, prepare yourself for what's to come, though. Because I feel it coming. I mean, how you get hit with an earthquake and then a, a tsunami afterwards, that's just devastating. And then another earthquake in Tijuana, and then I heard it was an earthquake in Hayward. That was a small one, though, but I think it's coming soon, sooner than anybody thinking. So uh, just prepare yourself, prepare yourself, you know. Um, I know how I've been preparing myself, so I'm just telling you guys to prepare yourself for what's to come so it won't be a shock, you know. Make sure you get everything right. You know, you're doing everything right in life. Uh, you're telling everybody that you love them, that you love. Uh, you say, you're letting your feelings out, you know. you you just letting it all out, you know. Just letting it all out, not carrying anything no more. This is the year, 2010. You know, go all in. Let it all out, you know. Tell somebody, if you don't like them, tell them you don't like them. Stop hanging around them. Time to stop being fake. If you love them, tell them you love them. Stop listening to people that's that's hating because they not they not happy. They want to make you miserable too. Don't listen to that shit. If you ladies, if you if you interested in a guy, you dating somebody, and um you getting advice from a single friend, that's never good because your friend is single. So uh, get advice from somebody that's in a relationship. That's best. And because obviously she can't keep a man, so she's single for a reason. So uh, don't listen to a single chick because she's just gonna make you single and she just want to party with somebody and be miserable. And then once she finds somebody, she gonna tell you, Oh, bitch, don't tell me what to do, I know what I'm doing. Then you're gonna be by yourself. So it's stupid to listen to her anyway. But um, this hubby F at your neck, I didn't end up talking, I got all I had to off my chest. And I appreciate all you, God loves you, I love you. I forgive all of you who sinned against me. I forget those who I sinned against. I forget. Please forgive me. You know, God forgives us. He's a forgiving God. So uh, make sure you're reading your Bible, saying your prayers, you know. Because um, it's coming. I mean, you can't run from it. It's coming. I see it coming. So, you know, I'm doing my thing, you know. So uh, just, you know, prepare yourself for that, ladies and gentlemen. But uh it's Hubby F at your neck, signing off, man. My boy Big P, he doing his thing. I don't know where he is. He doing his thing, though. So, um, I'm just going to sign off like that. And, uh, man, love you. You see me in the streets, holla at your boy Hubby F at your neck. Pat, 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 pat. Yeah, we signing off like that, like I always do. Love, put God first. Holla.